Hey guys, it's your Big Sis Mo here, and today I'm gonna show you how I refresh my hair, um, and we are going to take it from this to something that's presentable. I didn't, I didn't want to like start the video with my hair done because it's like. We're just gonna jump right into it. I'm going, this is like as honest of a video as it gets. Like this is how my hair has looked all day long. It didn't look like this when I went to the gym this morning, but it just looked like this all day. Um, as some of you guys comments, you guys did ask for a refresh video, so I'm happy to do it. Now, some of you guys are gonna hop in my comments and be like, Mo, like that's just a wash and go. I'm just gonna tell you right now, um, I'm, a, a, <laughs> I'm an extremely literal person, so if you, like if you say something to me like let's say you say Marissa I'm gonna call you back um, tonight at like 8 I'm taking that literally and I made a mental note and I'm probably gonna try to free myself for like around 8 so I'm like okay I don't want to miss my, my friend or you know whoever's phone call so that's what I mean when I say I'm very literal so when we talk about wash and goes I literally think like you washed your hair you you know styled it and then you're on the go so I'm very literal when it comes to those type of terms um, so when I say I'm refreshing my hair I'm taking my hair from this which is dry um, not freshly washed just um, hydrated my hair and you know this is this is my refresh so this is not a wash and go this is a refresh if you consider this a wash and go no problem you can serve whatever you want to but we're gonna hop into it um, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel why would you not be why would you not be okay so oh goodness all right so this is what my hair is looking like right now she is dry honey like oh child my hair never usually looks this dry or is this dry but lately I've just been so unbelievably busy that I just haven't really gotten to it like, well, I can't say that this this past weekend I went out with my friends um, if y'all follow me on Instagram you saw my story <laughs> Um, so I went with my friends and it was done it's just that I don't know like I just I didn't sleep in a bonnet that's what happened and I just said whatever um, all right so the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna split our hair into four sections um, because of course it's easier to work through with four sections instead of trying to work through um, in just a big clump I don't work like that when I do refreshes so let's go ahead and do our four sections so I'm just gonna take this side We're gonna split it up like that. And of course, as you guys know, once we take our sections, we're gonna break it down into two smaller sections. Um, this one, and then the back. We are going to separate. I'm just going to leave one half out, of course, because I'm about to get right to it. Now, Charlotte is in that weird time right now where um, it's like spring coming up, but spring for Charlotte is so different from spring from like up north. Um, and when I say that, I mean like spring up north, it's still snowing and it's still like 20 degrees from where I, um, where I uh, grew up. Charlotte, it's going to be like 75 degrees the next three days. And it's just crazy because I'm like having to turn my AC on. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I'm turning on my heat because it is cold in the morning. So it's just, it's a lot. It's just all over the place. Let me see if my AC is actually on. I feel like I've turned the heat on. Now. Okay, so it looks like my AC actually is on. Um, okay, so let's jump right into refreshing. So I have my three main products that I'm going to be using for this. Um, and this is all you're going to need. So you're going to need both. Well, we have four things here. You're gonna need a um, water bottle. So I always use a bottle of warm water. You're gonna need a leave-in conditioner, which we are using TGIN Rose Water Smoothing Leave-In because literally, best leave-in I've used in years. This this is the truth, holy grail. Um, and then you're gonna wanna use something to um, hold. So I don't use gels. They're too, they're too heavy for my hair, I guess you could say. Um, so I am gonna use, as I am, Long & Lux Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Curl Enhancing Smoothie as a holder. Um, this works best for me. You can use whatever you want as your hold. And I have not mixed my own personal oils lately. Um, I ran out, so we're gonna use my backup oil, which is just as good, which is Curls Blu-ray Bliss Hair and Scalp Oil. Um, I've used Curls on and off 
this oil in particular, if I don't mix, I always have this on hand um, because it's just top tier. Come on, curls, you did the damn thing. All right, so let's go. So what you're gonna do is you're going to separate that back piece and we're going to clip it up. And now, actually should've got a towel. My sweatpants are gonna be wet. I'll be right back, guys. I'm back. I don't know why, but like wet sweatpants are like a pet peeve for me. I don't know why, it just freaks me out. Okay, so, and I don't know why I'm doing this on a sweatshirt because the water's gonna just slide down my sleeve and it's gonna make me upset. <laughs> I should've really did this in a t-shirt. Um, so if you guys ever wonder why I just wear t-shirts in my videos, it's because I hate having wet sleeves. I digress. Okay, so now we're gonna wet the hair. You want to make sure that your hair is drenched, so like wet, wet. Okay, so now our hair is super duper wet. We are going to take our leave-in. I take that much. And then we are going to detangle. I like to use my fingers when I detangle. You can use whatever tool or whatever you like to use to detangle your hair. Um, for me, when I just finger detangle, um, I get better results than if I use like a brush or something like that. I'm just going to put it all over that one section. And remember to detangle from the um, bottom of the hair or the ends up to your roots because if you detangle from the roots, you're most likely going to cause a lot of um, tangles going down, so it's going to be a lot harder. So as you can see, my hair is getting more smooth. Um, I didn't have as many tangles, which really surprised me because my hair has not been combed. It has not been moisturized in days. I feel bad even admitting that, but that is the truth. Um, that's just where we are with it. And honestly, I really should be washing my hair, but I just don't feel like it um, right now. So that is also the laziness in me, which is okay. It's okay, guys. You don't have to... Honestly, when I was younger, I, I um, mentioned this in one of my videos when I did the, the hot oil treatment. Um, my grandma washed my hair once a month. And I think it was more so convenience for her because me and my sisters all have a lot of hair. Um, it's also have very dense hair and it's very thick. It doesn't might not look it to some people, but it is very thick. Um, and so she wasn't doing three heads of dense, thick hair on wash days. So she would always leave my hair in a protective style. Like my hair was always in like plaits. Um, or she'll leave it out in a big ass puff, but by the end of the night she braided it up. So my hair got washed once a month as a kid. Um, so I'm, I'm true to this, uh, not washing my hair every week lifestyle. I could be, but usually I do wash my hair every week. Okay. So now that we've moisturized, um, what I like to do is just go through and detangle until I am satisfied. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, then now you're gonna take your hold or your enhancing smoothie now also be be mindful um, I use the LCO method which is liquid cream oil some of you guys might be using the liquid oil cream method so remember if you're going to be refreshing you have to do it with the method that you usually use so just keep that in mind because I don't want to tell you guys to do the LCO method if LOC method works for you and now I'm just gonna put my hold in my hair And we are just gonna use a little bit of oil because right now, um, since my hair has not been washed, my hair is actually quite, not very oily, but it's not the cleanest. So I don't wanna put like a ton of oil on it. So here is what my hair looks like right now. So now we have our refreshed section. And what we're gonna do is just keep going. Mother. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second piece of our refresh section. And it's just gonna be the same process, um, wetting the hair down. 
And here's how, this is just a quick tip for anyone who has, who is confused about hair porosity. Um, of course you could do the um, cup of water method to figure out what your hair porosity is. Here's just a quick telling tell if you ha if you want to know if you have low hair porosity. So I have low hair porosity and here's how you know I have low hair porosity. So let's wet the hair down. I hope you guys can see that, but the water, the water droplets literally just sit on top of my hair because the hair follicle or the um, the hair shaft is like down. So it, it doesn't open up and lift to get that water in there. So I literally have to like pet the water in to actually get it hydrated. So um, that's why I'm, people think that I'm like really like on top of my hair game. It's like, oh, you know, she, she's just very like into doing her hair, which I am, but Really, I have low porosity and my hair does not retain water for very long. So it gets dried very fast. So I have to kind of do it every other day, pretty much moisturizing. Just a quick tip, if you have, if you want to know if you have low hair porosity, trust me, if the water droplets are sitting on top and not really penetrating, you probably have low hair porosity. And this is why um, I tell people that I'm not sure who came up with the whole um, hair type thing. I have my own theory about hair type and I do think it was created just to separate us, but I won't go too deep into that. Um, the reason why I don't care or follow anything that has to do with hair type typing is because somebody can have my same hair type but they might have a different porosity. So if me and you don't have the same hair porosity, you're not gonna use the same products as me. So why would you even care what your hair type compared to my hair type is? Like, it doesn't make sense. So <laughs> I'm just I'm just over here on a tangent, but I just hate the whole hair um, type thing. It's just so stupid. Um, and if you feel like your hair is not moisturized enough, go ahead and re-wet it. Now also, I have been seeing on TikToks, so I'll end up on like a bunch of random TikToks, but I'll always end up on curly hair TikTok, of course, or like natural hair TikToks. And I was told in videos that you are not supposed to air dry your hair because it's damaging. Um, and so lately I've been trying to just go diffusing, which I won't walk around just with wet hair all willy nilly. Usually I'll just sleep with it upon it. Okay. So now we have this whole side. <laughs> Y'all, I have been um, rewatching Real Housewives of Atlanta, of course. I don't know why, I just leave it on. Like it's just on my bedroom, it's on in my living room. Um, and I just wanna say that last season, you know, uh, Kenya dragged it. She 110% she dragged it. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. The whole Portia situation with Bolo, oh my gosh. I just had to speak on it at least now. Cause I'm like, I understand why she was so obsessed with it because of course, if it was reversed, they would definitely have dragged Kenya the whole season. But I was just like, like, oh my goodness, girl, like you are getting obsessed. Like that whole season was about Portia, if we're being honest. And I was so over that season. Even though I do like Portia, I was over it. I was like, okay, I need them to talk about something else or do something else. Um, so my sister face on me. Okay, so we finished this one side here. Um, that took maybe like 15 minutes, I think. I wasn't really um, timing it. And then this is how much hair I lost. Just that much. So yeah, um, I don't experience a lot of hair shedding. And I think it's because I don't do a lot to my hair. That's the best answer I got for you guys. Um, when I was doing a lot to my hair, when I say a lot, I mean like straightening it, I would have so much hair on the floor. And I, I, I just wanna call my grandma right now and apologize to her because I would straighten my hair 
and then just like go to work and leave the bathroom just any type of way oh my gosh I was a terrible teenager and she would call me while I was at work cursing me out like I know you lying like ain't no way you left this bathroom like this and I would come home and she would leave it and make me clean it up and it was the whole floor was just covered in hair it was like cousin it had just went and used the bathroom it was crazy so now that I do a lot less my hair does not shed um like that at all so instead of showing you guys this other side of the back I'm gonna show you guys this front piece um so let's get into the front because I don't think I want to show you guys the whole thing because we're literally just doing the same process over the full head um and then at the end of this video I am gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair instead of um instead of air drying so we are gonna diffuse today so I'm pretty excited about that okay guys so now I've done both um, sections in the back. Oh, again, I'm still watching Real Housewives season 13. Um, oh, it's not. Okay, whatever. All right, so now I'm gonna get to the two front pieces, and then we are gonna go ahead and diffuse. Um, I've never been the biggest. Yeah, I hear that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really let my hair go this weekend. Um. Lord, wait. Um, I've never been the biggest diffuser. Like I have, I've had this diffuser for a while, for a couple, like maybe two or three years now. And it's a very expensive one. It's the Dyson um, blow dryer with the diffuser attachment. So I paid about five hundred dollars, I think, for this blow dryer. And I don't use it as much as somebody should for somebody who paid five hundred dollars for a blow dryer. I'm gonna say that right now. But um, in my quest for wanting to diffuse my hair, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna diffuse my hair, I want the top, the top, the best, the best. So I did go ahead and purchase the Dyson blow dryer, which if I'm being honest, um, of all the diffusers that I've ever bought, the Dyson blow dryer has been the best one. Um, I feel like everybody when I first went natural was like swearing by the, uh, is it the Diva Curl diffuser? The one that like is actually shaped like a hand. Um, I think it's Diva Curl. And to be honest with you, I never liked it. So I go to a salon that back home um, where I grew up and they actually use Diva Curl products. Um, and you can, so when I go to get my hair cut, you can opt not to like get your hair cut and use styling products. You can easily just go and get your hair cut and then style at home if you want to. Um, but they use Diva Curl products and they would use that diffuser and I would walk out looking a mess. I'm not even kidding. Like the, the the haircut was always on point. The style afterwards, I was like, what is going on? Like I look a hot mess. Like my hair was just a ball of frizz. I was like, this is just terrible. And I don't know if it was the diffuser. I don't know if it was the products, but um, <laughs> one of them did not agree with my hair, like at all, so small story about how much I just don't like that diffuser and you know not for nothing don't really care for the products either like I did do um a brand partnership with them one time before that whole you know scandal popped off <laughs> about their products and um I forgot I think I forgot what the the product was called it was like a, a deep conditioner I think it was called like heaven something and that deep conditioner was really nice, but once people started coming forward with that scandal, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to step away and not ever use it again. I was just too nervous. Um, that was a crazy time for natural hair because there's not a lot of natural hair product scandals that happen in the community. You know what I mean? So that pretty much had everybody by chokehold for a minute. Um, but I digress. So we're just smoothing the product in. Um, I also noticed that if I use like a brush or like a comb to um, try to refresh my hair, um, my hair gets extremely frizzy. I found that my fingers are just the best way for me to go and I've been doing it this way for years. So, okay. all right, now that that's all done. Alright, it's really crazy. 
crazy how my hair goes from like this kind of flat to like large and charge. Okay, I'm gonna do this last section. Oh, I unclipped the wrong part, wrong clip. I'm gonna do this last section and then we are going to move on to diffusing our hair. Oh, so while I'm doing this section, I'll go ahead and start to talk about, look at the difference, shrinkage. This is like four or five more inches. <laughs> Anyway, so let's talk about the giveaway. So I'm still not positive, but I do know that we will have four winners um, in the giveaway, which the giveaway will be March 16th. Um, so it is this month. It's in two weeks. Um, I'm still not sure I'm gonna, how I'm going to have it set up because I know some of you guys do not have uh, Instagram pages. So I do want to make sure I'm extending the giveaway to everyone um, and make sure everyone gets a fair chance to participate. The line that I am giving away, like I mentioned in my last video, it will be this line right here, which is TGIN's um, Rosewater Collection. And there's, I think there's only three items in this collection, which is the conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and the shampoo. If it's more than just that, then I will obviously give away the whole collection, but it's gonna be the whole thing. So get prepared, guys. Make sure your um, notifications are on because it will be live. And I think I'm gonna like do it for like, so that the 16th is a Wednesday. I'll probably have that um, giveaway going until that Monday. So just a couple of days. And then that next Wednesday, I will announce the winner. Yeah, so you have until Monday to enter. And then probably until Wednesday, I'll look announce the winner. I think it's good enough time. If, if that changes, then I'll let you know in like another video for sure. Okay, so now this is the front section. We're gonna add in a little bit of our Hair cream here. so slippery right now. Okay. All right, so now um, for this last section, we are not, well, I'm not gonna film it um, because it's pretty obvious. It's just doing exactly what we did here. We'll run this side, same difference. And so we're gonna hop right into the diffusing portion. I'm gonna show you how I diffuse my hair, um, which might look a little bit different from what others do with their hair. Okay, guys, so I finally am done. We've got all of our hair. Um, refresh now which probably took like maybe maybe like 30 35 minutes which is very fast the fact that my hair was super duper dry coming off the weekend so I'm about to use our dyson blow dryer you can use any blow dryer you don't have to have a dyson blow dryer trust me i don't think i would ever spend this much money on a blow dryer ever again so do not get twisted um and what's really funny now that i'm thinking back um is that my grandma she would she would let my air my hair air dry but you know what she would do so our house um there was like a side step that was so there was an indoor porch that we had but there was like a step that you could sit on of course on the outside in the summertime she would make me sit outside on that step and air dry my hair like literally in the sun <laughs> so yeah that's that's how my that's i think that's how come i still air dry my hair to this day is because it just worked when i was a kid it's worked for me as an adult but also since it's cold, I do like to try to go ahead and just diffuse because I don't want to have um, cold freezing hair throughout the day in this weather. So here's what my blow dryer looks like. And here is the diffuser attachment. The attachment is magnetic, which I just think is really cool. I don't know why. But let's just get into our diffuse. So it does have three settings. We're just going to turn it on. So these are, this is what it looks like. Oops. So the settings are um, hot, level two, level three, level two, level one, and then no heat at all. And then it also can go medium, high, medium, high. All right.
So now what we're gonna do is start to actually apply the heat to our hair, which the fusers are great because the fusers don't create direct heat because it's coming out through these little um, holes. So this is why a diffuser is a really great um, purchase if you have uh, natural hair and you want to apply um, heat and drying without direct. So now we're going to apply it to our ends and then after a while we're going to flip our head over and do that good stuff. You're going to go up in an upward motion when you're um, applying it to your ends. Okay guys, so we are done diffusing. Oh my gosh. I don't know how people do this at like every time they do their hair. Whew. I feel like the reason why I like air drying is because literally like I don't have to do anything to it. Like I could just sit and like not touch it. Like it's just in my bonnet and it's just air drying and I don't have to worry about it. But this one looks like um, diffused. I'll show you guys the back. And what I can say is that the curls are very like defined. Um, I'm also looking, yeah, y'all already, already know what I'm looking at. Um, but it, it's so defined and I came alive like, damn, them curls is popping, honey. Sorry, let me stop talking to myself. But this is what my hair looks like diffused. Um, and I'll probably be doing this a lot more often because like I said, I have to, I'll go to the gym in the mornings and it's really cold and having cold, wet hair, going to the gym and working out is so gross. I hate it. Um, was I gonna say also uh, my hair is not 100% dry right now so it's like I would say it's like 85% yeah it's like 85% dry so it hasn't even reached this like potential of just bigness so um, I am gonna end the video here so this is where we're gonna end it I don't know why I'm rambling <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this video this is how I refresh my hair um, it's super duper simple there's a, I don't do a lot to my hair and I tell you guys that all the time. I am a very basic girl when it comes to my hair. It's it's low maintenance um, that makes your hair look high maintenance, I guess, I don't know. So anyways, I will see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe. And of course, sound off in the comments and let me know if, you, if there's any other type of videos that you wanna see. And also, like I said in the middle maybe of this video, if you wanna see a video on hair porosity, please, please, please let me know and I'll make it happen. Bye guys, love you.